How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlitz, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we've got some Pokemon news to take a look at. We're actually more rumors and stuff like that. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get started. We start things off over here on Twitter from Soul Silver Art, who's been basically just uh, tweeting a bunch of uh, theories and breakdowns on theories of what's going to be in Scarlet and Violet. And his most recent stuff is actually quite interesting. He says, All right, fam, if this info is correct, I think we are 10 days or so from finally getting the trailer. The Pokemon Company will 100% want to promo this game before pre order purchases begin. In. We're finally so close now. First week of August, let's go. Now, what is he referring to here? Well, according to Army at Japan, who isn't always correct, but does have some genuine information, like in this case, there are only 10 days left until the reservations or pre-orders begin in Japan, which is, you know, fairly accurate. So if you actually look, today is the 25th when that was posted. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days until the 4th of August, which means, yes, also, by the way, it's crazy. We're about to be in August in, like, a few more days, which is uh, quite incredible, to say the least, but that does mean uh, that there is a bunch of info that will be dropping. Also, we have a bunch of new stuff, which actually just dropped from Centro Leaks, who basically posted what seems to be uh, possibly the maps of the region, but we'll have to wait and see if that actually has any value. We're going to take a look at that a little bit separate here from Centro in a second, which, like I said, is, was just recently posted right here. But what's called about like Leaks Extradition. Now the leaker appears to be gone, we can share some of the images he shared. First, the Paldea map. The first Im Im image is in-game. The second one is concept art. The third one is an overlay with a map we saw in trailer so basically this one i guess the concept art to kind of show you what it's supposed to look like then apparently also there's more to say about this apparently also uh this is a sketch of the uh worm pokemon which uh, i can't even see what the sketch is because it's just a white screen and then apparently also the leaker was asked to recreate the primate evolution which is a fi uh, fighting ghost type using only emojis and this is what he came up with which basically looks like primates primal you know form or sorry uh primates like um you know ancient form whatever or a cross gen evolution whatever it's supposed to be right the new evo of it right is apparently uh gonna be having like a big fluffy long beard almost like almost like a bearded uh more like um i didn't even know what I'd say like if you think of regular primate but it's only totally pretty hairy but imagine it being even hairier and looking like uh santa almost is what i'm getting from this personally then also there are a few rough sketches of the starter pokemon uh one of these is uh this is what he drew for i guess for a coco so i guess the chicken flame on the top of its head is what we got going on right there and then we have well i guess uh quaxley's evolution which uh, more or less is just uh, chicken go brr and then, of course, we have Spriatito, which is, you know, just a little, little, little badass, little badass cat, I guess, in this case. But, uh, yeah, it is a bit strange uh, with all this information. It's a bit confusing, to say the least, as well. Uh, nonetheless, there is a bunch of stuff to talk about beyond that. So, of course, these are, you know, leaks and stuff from the quote-unquote Kaka leaker who is now gone. I don't think he's putting out any more info. I don't think he's planning on putting out any more info, as, as far as I can tell. Um, but... There is some stuff to talk about in terms of other information, which is right here. So, I can't believe I didn't see this. I knew there was not going to be a Merkur Evil, which is confirmed now there is no Merkur Evil. So, what could be the Evil Team's Ace and Mascot? Because we've been told that this logo right here and this is related to the Evil Team. So, what could this possibly be about? Well, he says, well, if they're Bully and Biker Gang, which most likely is what they are, well, guess what? Uh, if they're Bully and Biker Gang, we know, uh, we know of new bike, motorcycle, and engine Pokemon. Maybe they challenge you to a mini racing game before battle, or mini games before battle, right? Uh, and here's like basically what was being said by uh, Poki Satami, who translated something that was being said. What's this? And he says, an opponent. No further details. The kanji was, this kanji was used, and it can be read as rival, opponent, etc. And this is most likely related to the villains. Maybe you ride on Karidon or Maridon, and they ride any of those new transportation Pokemon I listed above. Or maybe this uh, this main assumption is wrong, and opponents here doesn't mean the evil team, and instead means gyms or trials. The former ID seems more likely to me, though. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, guys. What do you all think about this? Like, uh, th there's a lot of there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential options here for what this could be related to, but we'll see what happens. And this is here from uh, the real Phoenix. Said just saying, and then pointed out that this area right here on the map that we see right above here is actually seemingly this area that we see like being shown in the cinematic, like the super cinematic part of the trailer when the legendaries show up. And he says, just saying, it's very possible this may be where you meet meet Karida Maridon or something uh, larger in the main story may happen on those few little islands. Kaka did say something about being able to travel into the sea. And after we saw in Sword and Shield's DLC, I'm sure they're, uh, they're accessible. They're, okay, you know, 
they are accessible, accessible I guess, uh, which uh, would be actually pretty fairly, you know, logical. Next is this right here, also from Soul Silver, who says, putting two and two together, and by that I mean Kaka and Ku, Kaka said there will be a, a Gen 2 Pokemon that gets a both past and future variant, like Volcarona. Ku said 2-3-2. Two, two. I believe the answer is in my thread below. It's also, apparently, Kaka's least favorite. Uh, and if we look right here, in our Discord, we spend hours trying to figure out what Ku's 232 is. To truly get it, we just need a little context. Anyways, we thought maybe it's an amount of legs or heads or lines of a Pokemon. Or, since it's a character month, the rival and champs. Or maybe it's as simple as Donphan, which uh, would be, I guess, 232. So it's Donphan Gen 2 Pokemon that gets both an ancient and future species. Which uh, we wonder if that's going to be the case. I mean, it's literally based on a wheel. Uh, you know, it's literally based on a wheel. And so seeing an ancient form based on a stone wheel would be pretty cool. Which I think actually would make a lot of sense. And somebody said here, 233 referring to a type of a Pokemon and their stages. Two-line Pokemon, a three-line Pokemon, another two-line Pokemon of a specific type. Well, no idea if that is the case. But either way, so we continue down further. So getting both a future and past form. I mean, Kaka said something about a Gen 2 Pokemon getting both. And also, Ku said there will be two specific Pokemon getting both a future and past version. Will Corona being one of them? But then we know this other related tweet makes no sense. So, two Pokemon got both counterparts in the two groups. Same, guess them or wait for the, f uh, the fed. Uh, so, one of these spoon infos teased on a Pokemon which got a counterpart, and actually it got both, but he just spoiled one. Guess, w guess which just Shilmon is. Another Shilmon which get got two definitely slept with the... Uh, wow, okay, that's messed up. Uh, I mean, it's F in it, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't know what, that, that goes a bit crazy. But yeah, it, it all seems too easy. And I, like I uh, said, we have no clue because we don't know what the context However, Sometimes Ku does make an easy riddle and um, that only seem hard. So I have my own decision. But yeah, do you guys think Donphan's going to be getting a new form, a new Evo, like a, a past and future form? I personally think that will be pretty cool, but again, there is no guarantees on that either, is there? So, your thoughts and opinions were appreciated on that slide. So, we continue on next here, which is, uh, this is my first real theory after these leaks that Ku replied to a post of mine, saying that Karida and Maridon aren't the same Pokemon, but they are more like Sogolay and Lunala, but not that they evolved from the same uh, pre-Evo. Well, it must be that Karida and Maridon are a paradox Pokemon, which we already kind of talked about in a previous video as well. Do you think Sogolay and Lunala are the same be beings? Don't read too much about this cause, uh, cause not the same, but it will help your interference. They are Bounded. Kind of like branched paths of a Pokemon like Cosmo and Cosmo until Nalos Leo. He says nope to that. He continues on then and says, Just like also Leo Nulara, uh, uh, Solganeo Nulara Ultra Beasts, which seems to be the equivalent of a Paradox Pokemon in Gen 7. So if you want a good idea about what a past or future Pokemon will look like, well, Karida and Maridon are your best examples. If this is true, this leads us to another conclusion. What Ku said was obviously also a riddle, a play on this new Paradox Pokemon concept. And if you don't know what he's referring to with Paradox Pokemon, it's basically these Pokemon that come from the past and the future, uh, and they literally cannot evolve. They are... Almost like the the, the, the the ancient and future legendary versions of a singular Pokemon. So, a ancient version of Jigglypuff. A future version of... I don't remember what was on that list again. Delibird, right? So, basically, you know, this is what he's talking about with Paradox forms or Paradox Pokemon in this case. Which are kind of like the new thing instead of Ultra Beasts, right? Another conclusion, what Ku said was obviously also a riddle. A play on this new Paradox Pokemon concept. They technically are the same Pokemon. Just ancestors and descendants of the same Pokemon. We also now know that a Pokemon look... Volcarona has both a past and future version, so this is almost definitely the same case for Coridon Maridon. They may not evolve from the same pre-Evo, like Nebi, but like our present-day Volcarona, they must both come from the same present version of their, uh, of their species. In short, I believe there will be a present Iguana version. So, it, no, it's no third legendary, but it's a very similar ID. Classic Game Freak, in my opinion. It may even just be a regular old Pokemon, like a Jigglypuff, that becomes legendary, just like uh, we know these new Paradox Pokemon are basically now legendaries based off of regular present-day Pokemon. So, what's being said here? Well, basically, so there is probably going to be a third Pokemon, which is going to be slotted in the middle, and probably going to be green. Now, what are we talking about here? What are these Paradox Pokemon? We've already spoken about this in previous videos a bit, but I'm going to kind of give you a TLDR. So, basically, these present and future Pokemon forms are basically the same Pokemon, but not at the same time. The same way, as I've described this before, if you look at a Sabertooth Tiger versus a regular Tiger. A regular Tiger and a Sabertooth Tiger are not the same thing. Sure, they may share DNA. They One of them isn't 
you know, ancient ancestor of it, but they're not the same animal. The same way a tiger and a cat are not the same animal, and the same way a panther and a uh, leopard, for example, I guess, are not really a similar, like, they're similar, but not the same animal. They're a different animal. They, they, you know, they belong to, I guess, the cat family or whatever, but they are not the exact same. They're still, like, separate, and in this case, with the best comparison is to look at something from the past and whatever else can exist in the future, but the past is the easiest to look towards because that's what we know the most about since the future is uncertain, right? It's, well, it's the future for a reason. So if you look at it like this, right? Basically, a saber-toothed tiger is not the same as a regular tiger. Sure, they may say share DNA, they are ancestors of each other, but they are not the same animal. They're literally not the same. They are classified as two separate beings, right? That's the point. The same way all birds aren't just considered one singular thing. There are different species of birds. And that's the same thing right here, okay? What's more or less being said is that what we gotta look at is there's probably gonna be a, you know, Coridon Maridon you know, version of, of a Pokemon here that's going to be in the middle here, that's our present day version, which might just be a regular Pokemon and not even a special one. Meanwhile, these two are considered legendary because they are these paradox Pokemon that have traveled from the past and the future, the same way that the other Pokemon will also be, I mean, these two are literally legendary. The other ones will be paradox legendaries, right? The ones that are basically ancient and future versions of certain Pokemon, but they're more special the same way Ultra Beasts were special because they were Ultra Beasts, right? Uh, but in reality, I mean, if you really just boggle them down, it's just like, well, they're just regular Pokemon in reality. But no, they got the Ultra Beast markings on them, and they, they just kind of like, you know, considered that. They considered Ultra Beasts because they're from the Ultra Space, right? Same principle here. Same exact principle. These Pokemon from the ancient and the future versions of themselves, they can't evolve, they can't, you know, have pre-evolutions, they're basically just one singular version that's either the past version of a Pokemon or a future version of a Pokemon that has evolved in different ways. So that's basically the way you have to look at it. Hence why if you look at Karaito and Maridon, they look similar somewhat, but they are not the same. They still look, you know, drastically different from each other. So imagine that Volcarona and, you know, its future and past form will look drastically different from the past and the future form versions of itself, right? So, just keep that in mind. By the way, that's kind of a TLDR basic kind of rundown of this whole thing, which, you know, I would love to know what you guys think about all this. But yeah, so here is what else we also have, um, which is from Soul Silver says, also, sorry to think that Ku's hint to the evil team may not have related to their name, but just that they're themed after a team delinquent biker gang. So a possible uh, team, team name are still up in the air. Team Star, Team Cross, Team Crow, Team Bolt. I really like the last one, Team Bolt. Well, yeah, it's, it's a decent one. And here is what's being said as well. Also agree with... Uh, uh, very much these ideas of it being a team name that starts with uh, a Z or an, uh, an S or a Z team zoom makes a lot of sense. Of course, it could be wrong and Ku was actually telling us it's Team Crow. It's still fun to speculate. But yeah, what do you guys think the evil team is going to be called? Is there some of the names? Team Spark, Team Shine, Team Saint, Team Sail, Team Star, Team Stellar, Team Sa You know, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of possible options for what this, you know, possibly could be. Like, there's, there's a lot of possibilities. But again, your thoughts and opinions would be, you know, appreciated on this, lads. Just let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. We'll move on to the next thing, which is about Fue Coco. So this says here, so many thought Fue Coco would be a serpent but Game Freak really said, nah, Dunsparce is your Gen 9 snake. Da 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 cha. Wow, okay. So happy that Pokestami and I got this prediction. And now you know uh, who the real Zodiac uh, is, I guess. And also if you want some pre-caca guesses too. But basically, what are you talking about here? Well, basically that, uh, well, the cycle is broken. And that also... Uh, apparently, if we just look at this, uh, the K translation, the evolution of a Dunsparce is pretty much the same as Dunsparce. It doesn't change that much. It just gets a lot larger. Uh, it, I don't remember the type. Uh, this one is interesting for me. It could make my uh, research in the theory a Dunsparce evolution is a bit more plausible. But yeah, so that's that. And that's from Poki Sutami. And of course, uh, you know, it seems like uh, we are confirming that Fue Coco is going to be on, you know, uh, it just the design wise going to be looking like we expected. And also, in terms of what like we might see for Dance Pass, it might be similar to this design here, which is the old version of a Gyarados sprite they made back in the day, which was really strange and weird. Uh, also, According to Soul, he thinks that basically Fue Coco was already hinted with the shoes from Alola back in, you know, 2016 for Sun and Moon. He thinks that it's already hinted then, which I'm going to be honest, I can kind of see it. I can definitely see it. I personally don't, wouldn't be too crazy, you know, to be too far away from the idea of this being actually the case here. I mean, this man literally has the vibe, okay? He has the guitar, he has the vibe, he has like the, you know, everything to match up with the, um, you know, with the Fue Coco thingy. And honestly, personally, I wouldn't be surprised if this was already a hint back then. Uh, I think so, personally. I mean, again, it's all a speculation, but I do think it could have been hinted. Either way, he also says, this all this earlier was just super messy. The concept behind how each of them could work is really cool. 
I doubt the form changes will be anything really drastic. It'll be super happy with anything close to this. Uh, so this was a design made by someone. I don't actually know who made this. Uh, I haven't really seen anybody being credited for it but whoever the artist is if you if you're you know if you know who it is please tweet at me uh or something or send me a message on discord that's the, way, the best way to get in touch with me uh so i can at least like credit you for uh, you know for this case but this is actually a cool idea to show you what these two would look like in terms of their like you know writable feature in this game this basically gives you an idea of what that feature could look like down the line once the game is out and what this could be like so honestly i'm gonna be honest if this is how they look like, I'm feeling more and more inclined to go with Violet, but I still love, dude, I still love, like, Scarlet way too much, man. I still love Scarlet way too much. But yeah, we continue on. And he says, I can quote retweet again, just like good old days. I don't think this tweet is a hint due to what Ku said below. Of course, uh, misdirects exist. If by any chance it is a hint, come on, guys. A sculptor would make dragons or uh, code names to 23. And this is what's being said right here. We never ever post anything. Some people want to analyze our random info. Enough to happen to anybody reasonable stuff. Uh, with the Chinese saying, no, no, no. But the fact shows that it doesn't work, lo uh, work longer. Just let some new shit info of our own. Uh, and that was this picture here, I guess. I don't know if that was included. Um, but there was this whole weird thing about a bunch of stuff here happening. I don't know if this relates to, like, there being a new lizard Pokemon based on this thing. Or an evolution of a Pokemon based on this thing. But I don't really know the full context. Next, we also have this, which possibly could be a uh, version drawing. I mean, probably a fake drawing of what uh, the Primeape Evo could look like. Again, there's no guarantees on that. But uh, again, your thoughts and opinions would be appreciated on this one, lads. And then we move on to this right here. Speaking of this, what, it's, uh, what if its form is similar to a Zora from Zelda. I would actually love it. Now, what is he talking about? Well, basically, we know that uh, it was pretty much confirmed that actually he references one of his old tweets where he was already hinting at there being a, you know, some form of... Because we already saw Dolphin Pokemon in a logo for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Somewhere in, like, I think one of the characters, like, hats or something, there was a dolphin on it. So we already speculated there would be one. And basically, he's saying here, could it be possible that it's based on this... You know, because we have been told it's going to be a humanoid design by Ku. That the dolphin Pokemon is going to be humanoid. So, going to be something along those lines because this is what Ku said right here. So, is this what we should expect personally? I wouldn't be too, too, too cool with it personally. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I mean, I'm guessing if they can make it a bit similar to Garchomp in a sense, then fair enough. But, man, I just want a regular dolphin, to be honest. I just wanted a, a, a fat dolphin just to, like, you know, to just go, whoop, whoop. You know, like in, in the water, like, and do the, like, ee -ee sound or whatever the fuck. You know, I just, that's all I wanted, man. I just want a weird little freaking, like, you know, dolphin doing weird shit and just being, like, you know, a cool little dolphin. That's all I wanted. Actually, a pink dolphin would have been the coolest. But it's besides the point. So, again, what do you guys think about this being a humanoid form? I want to know what you guys think about it. And also, shout out to Pokemon Pants Kato, uh, or Pokemon Pants, I guess, for uh, being the person who actually put together, also the creator of... Pokemon Genesis, who I do follow, which is a great looking project, but they basically were the one who made these artworks for, guess what, Scarlet Violet fake, fake uh, gym leaders, so yeah, shout out to them for this amazing artwork, by the way, which I think is awesome, just wanted to share it, because a lot of people, like, uh, have mentioned it, but yeah, so these are all of them, like, uh, all the different fake ones, as you guys can see, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I think all this is really sick, I think all this is really freaking sick. Again, you guys' thoughts and opinions would be appreciated on all this. But yeah, I freaking love it. I think it's great. And uh, just awesome work in general. I do like when people make these like, you know, kind of like fakes. But like, you know, they do come out and actually say it. I mean, we all already kind of knew these were fake. Um, just based on the fact that, you know, obviously they would be fake. They would. It was taking too long between each of them, sort of. But also just the fact that, you know, it's a lot of these easy fakes that have been out there recently. So, that's that. Then, of course, I wanted to include this right here, which is uh, from Light, who says, According to Ku, seems we are missing already Pokemon from Gen 2 that get Ancient and uh, Future forms. Is Smurgle one of them? I really like the idea of Salvador Dali, a Spanish surrealist artist renowned for his technical skill, precise draftsmanship, and the striking bizarre images in his works. Well, I wouldn't be too surprised if they wanted to go down that path. One of his most uh, known arts is the Persistence of Memory, 1931. The soft watches are an unconscious symbol of the relativity of space and time and surrealist meditation of the, on the collapse of our notions of a fixed cosmic order. A detail seems in the trailer that the clock spins at seven, okay? Years later, he drew the disintegration of the persistence of memory in 1954. Behind the bricks, the horns receding into, into the distance symbolize atomic missiles, highlighting that despite cosmic order, humanity could bring about its own destruction. And yeah, 
it is, I think, a cool ID. And uh, what do you guys think about this? I mean, sure, they actually, as pointed out about Big Sally, did you guys know that actually there was already a guy called Artist Salvador who was already hinting at this in kind of an homage to Salvador Dali already back in uh, X and Y in this case, who said, you kids are all about movies these days, but I still love the beauty of a good painting, which I think is pretty cool. But again, I don't know if they're going to be doing a, well, in this case, I guess, Smurgle form. I don't know if there's going to be a new one. That's all up for debate right now, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, ladies and gentlemen. Again, your thoughts and opinions will be appreciated. I personally don't really know where they might go with all this because, hey, it is what it is. Um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know in the comment section down below. And that's going to be pretty much the end of the video, guys, today. Uh, I do want to quickly just tell you guys something, though, which is... I want you guys to check out uh, our channel, Ruffled Live, if you haven't already. It's a channel where we're doing these challenge videos, or versus videos, rather, uh, against uh, me and a few of the guys in the community. We've uh, been pushing out these. I actually posted three videos in total right now. Uh, if you guys want to go check it out, it'd be really appreciated. We're trying to get to 200 subs uh, before, like, the start of August. So if you guys can help us get there, it'd be really appreciated. We are now, like, what, missing, like, 58 subs to get there. So uh, jump over there, guys, if you want to. It'd be really appreciated. As you guys can see, we already have three videos. You can check them all out we have another video coming out probably this week uh just gotta make sure i edit it and all that but yeah please go check it out be really appreciated we really mean a lot and uh thank you all for watching i'll be seeing you guys in the next one peace out and bye bye ladies and gentlemen